heated bird baths. Today at the Gilly Galoo, we're going to talk about heated bird baths for the winter time. People often wonder what we're talking about and why we have heated bird baths and what's the purpose of them. So we're just going to go over a few things today, tell you some of the features, but remember, provide water, provide shelter, provide food. It increases your visits to your backyard. So in heated bird baths, there's a variety of different styles, shapes, that kind of thing. We also have a, a heater that will work in your existing bird bath. You have to be a bit careful if it was uh, ceramic or concrete that this um, that, that, that will freeze and perhaps crack it. So you have to be a bit careful. But this is the, all of the bird baths and all of the different features that are associated with the variety of different things is the wattage and the effectiveness comes out of what the wattage is. So this one that you put in your bird bath to de-ice your current bath that you would use in the summertime is 200 watts. It's a 200 watt element. Thermostatically controlled, lays in flat, nice and flat in your bird bath so it creates that nice essence. You want to be careful with your summer bird baths that they're not too deep. One, will make this work much harder and two, it's too deep and too much water uh, for the birds in the wintertime. Uh, the features and the benefits of the of the water, yes, are one, the same as in the summer, that they cleanse, clean the oils and, and the things off their feathers, so it actually helps them create more body heat because they have a, a better insulating level. Um, but the other is the, the availability of water, is the big, big, big key, is that they have water that is, a, is available to them, it's fresh water, you keep your bird bath clean, that kind of stuff, and they always have water that is available to them so that they can drink. So birds eat to create heat, I say that all the time, and with uh, having to, say, process snow into water and or to find open water, if you think about some times that we get here in Ontario, we'll get you know severely cold weather but actually have no snow cover so all the puddles all the water holes all the drain you know the ditches and all the various places are frozen and there's no availability of water so birds have to travel distances to find water to hit to ingest so that we have to be, provide them with that ability to have available water is the other big key they don't have to use energy they don't have to use food to create the heat to provide them the energy to find the water so it's a very big key the big 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 key is that there's water availability so there's lots of different options that we have a heater for your existing bird bath a little smaller version over here we have a very very high quality product all resin comes with a stand 50 watt element much smaller bowl much shorter depth uh, with a very small element. So the other one was 200 watts, this is 50 watt. Again, thermostatically controlled, so it's, it stops the, uh, if, they, if it's warmer out, and it, it won't run when, they're, when it's warmer out. The big key to the larger bowls, and this comes with its own stand that fits on, it stands in the way, you'll notice the shallowness of this. There's very little. If we went straight and put a level straight across there, we'd be talking about two inches of depth. It's a full resin bowl that uh, the element is encased in the underside, and I'll show you that in a second. It has a non-slip surface, so the birds can't, won't be sliding and slipping around in there. Some people will put a, a flat stone or something in, this, in the center here, so that the depth of water is even shorter. So that they, but they will sit around the edge here and drink water out of there and splash around and that kind of stuff a little bit. But the beauty of this resin bowl is it's very shallow, uh, nice diameter, it's 20 inches in diameter. The element is encased all on the inside here so that it heats the bowl very, very well. There's a plug that goes through this little spot here and then you hook it underneath like that so that it's out of the weather and out of the snow and all that kind of stuff. Um, beautiful element that's a 200 watt element or 150 watt element in this one, sorry, uh, is in the inside thermostatically controlled. So 150 watts uh, will keep this bowl very clear of ice and, and snow and stuff in the wintertime. Great opportunity to have uh, more birds in your yard because you have available water in the wintertime. Uh, the, some, there's, the downside in some of the discussion is that if it's too much water uh, that they get wet and then they, they freeze. Um, there's two arguments about that. I read in different places where there's some people dismiss it and other people say that it's a problem. 
in in most of those cases, and I say create it so that your your depth of your water is very very low. But these work very very well. Uh, we have plenty in stock at both stores, and we'd be happy to show you and talk to you about them. Uh, heated bird baths, a great 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 feature to add to your backyard. See ya. Have fun. Thank <laughs> you.